Excellence is uh, like uh, uh, climbing uh, on a mountain and uh, to target a, a given summit. And then once you are on that summit, you will see and look uh, very far and you see another summit. Only in his late 30s, Professor Hossam Haik from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology has already seen the view from quite a few scientific summits. And the push towards new summits of scientific excellence is precisely what motivates him. Once you achieve one summit, you will not be satisfied. You will find it trivial and therefore you have to continue. And this is the nice thing about being a scientist. Professor Hike's research is at the crossroads between nanotechnology and medicine. His scientific summit so far is his development of the so-called nanos, an electronic nose which can sniff out cancer by analyzing a patient's breath. So this is the first generation of the electronic nose which was built six years ago. The idea is both simple and intriguing. When a cancerous tumor develops, its cells produce various chemicals that cross from the blood into the lungs, where they are excelled in very small amounts. Hike's device detects cancer by sniffing out those telltale molecules. This is something that was not considered by anybody in the world, and today we are changing the minds uh, in this aspect. The development and improvements of the nanos have been profound over the last six years. Today we have achieved the fourth generation of the nanos, which looks like that size, which is quite simple to use and inexpensive and can be available for everybody. In 2010, Hossam Haik received an ERC grant worth 5.4 million euro for the development of non-invasive nanometric sensors. The fact that the ERC believed in his high-risk project has been of immense importance. The ERC has allowed me to recruit a wide variety of researchers from many uh, countries over all the world. And this allowed us to import to our institute and to Israel a new knowledge. With this new knowledge, we could integrate it with our uh, unique knowledge in the Technion Israel Institute of Technology and therefore we could by this integration get a synergetic effect which is, is well expressed today by the success of our uh, uh, project. But according to Hassam Haik, why should Europe even bother to address the question of excellence in science? It's very important to discuss uh, excellence in the European Commission in order to meet the tomorrow's challenges and also to enable the European Commission to be in a leading role as a policymaker and to support financially and culturally not only the countries and the citizens inside Europe but all over around the world, including and mainly uh, the developing countries, because if we don't help the developing countries, we will be dragged down.